station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to John in Austin, Texas. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? I'm so good, I can't stand it. How about you? <laughs> good, man. God bless you. All of God's best to you and your family. Wow. You teach us how to make money. You are, are such a man of integrity and honesty. Right. I so admire what you do in your show, and you just deserve a whole lot of credit. And the other thing is you would be hard-pressed to invest in something that's going to bring you a better return than that go report. It is fantastic, buddy. I just wow. so appreciate you having us make money. I, I appreciate it, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on growth. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. You get the Dow down 80, Nasdaq's off 19, S&Ps are off 11 and a half. Gold contract up six dollars and forty cents, traded 1,314 an ounce. Silver off four cents at 19 dollars and 98 cents an ounce. Platinum up 14 at 1,477 an ounce. Copper flat at 317 a pound. Light sweet crude. Up 65 cents, traded at 97.57. Bonds, here you go, folks. Rates are going down, and you're going to see them going down uh, real quick right now. 10-year, up 14 ticks at 125.30. 30-year, up 27 ticks, 139.11, both with conviction, wide price spread, all of the above. We're going to get back with that, bisect it and dissect it. King Dollar. Up 83 ticks, trading out at 81.59. The euro is down 19 at 133, and the yen is off 8 at 102.02. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You have a market, folks, that can't hold price, period. Not even close, either. This is a, a very large ABC structure on the way down. It's a 75-point ABC structure down from that 1942 area. We're at 1912 right now. Your next stop, I suspect, is going to be somewhere. You get another 100 points down. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, she'll get a little support at uh, 1883, but this thing is, is cracking and cracking in a big way. We're going to take a look at the SPY, the correlation inside that uh, SPY right now. You're down a buck 19, 92 million shares traded. You need, you need more volume, okay? We get as much volume as yesterday, but you're going to get it. The expanded volume is, is out here. You get, we get an hour, we have 55 minutes coming into the marketplace. What we just did, if you're watching Tiger TV, Intra, intraday here, we just broke the B point of another ABC structure on the way down. That B point was 190.88. Uh, we hit that B point is at 1230 Eastern Standard Time today. Uh, we are at, let's say, let's see, okay, we got one minute left. It already, it already did the volume. You're going to see a nice ABC structure on the way down. This is a good size one, too. So if you're trading intraday, this is what you have. 192.88 is your A point. 192, this is a big one. Oh, this is sweet. 192.88 is a B point. Uh, a point, rather. 190.88, you get two bucks. You get two bucks. Uh, 189.92, that's where we're going. We can make that, you know, within this next hour. So that's another point down from where we are right now. Uh, she's breaking in it right now. We did 3.3 3 .3 million shares versus, um, oh, hold it. One second. That's three. 3.9, ah, 3.3, ah, no, we need a little more, we need a little more volume. Okay, so the 10 minute did 3.3 .3 versus 3.9, so you do, we do need more volume. I suspect we'll get it coming into it, but we need more volume right now. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. This is what you have with the Dow, down 83 bucks. Inside the Dow Industrials, putting weakness into, there she is, putting weakness into the Dow out here. You had United Health, Disney, Procter and Gamble, well, United Health is down uh, 227. You have Disney down 111. Procter and Gamble is down 97. Pfizer is down 31. 
giving it some strength. Boeing is up 135. That's a dead cat bounce. That already went into the February 5th area. Microsoft is still in good shape. That's up 47. Caterpillar is a dead cat bounce, up 61. United Technologies is up 35, another dead cat bounce. Something you want to wrap your head around, folks, when you're looking at strengths and weaknesses inside the indices. The, when you're getting a bounce like this, you want to look and say, okay, is that a stock that has already got taken apart? So let's go take a look at it when you're going to be able to see what we're talking about here. If we start with Boeing, which is the strongest stock today in the NYSE, what you have is this. Boeing has just gone straight down from 137, hit a low out here yesterday of 117. Hit that low with 6.2 million. Hits up on 3.4, not even close. United Technologies, UTX. What did UTX do? You see, this is even sicker. UTX went straight down from 120. Hit a low yesterday with volume of 103. You bounce it with the 103 at 5.4 million. You're doing 3 million today. That correlation right there will help you tremendously understanding is there strength and or weakness inside the indice. Go over to the NASDAQ composite. NASDAQ composite got inside its lower range yesterday. You're down 19 bucks right now. The number that we're talking about as inside the lower range is 4371. Right now we're at 4334. What does that set up? That sets up a large number on the way down. That sets up 39.46. Volume, yeah, we're going to need more volume. Uh, it looks like, um, anyway, well, this is going to get interesting, too. We got volume last Friday, you know, but it's very unusual to get volume on Mondays and Fridays. You know what? When the market's going south this quick, volume will come in. Why? The elevator goes down, the cord goes out, see ya, don't want to be ya. And the bond market has been screaming and screaming in an extraordinary way for quite a while that the markets want to go south, rates want to come down dramatically. The 10-year out here today is up 14 ticks. We've done 1.2 million contracts. You're two ticks away from the 126 area to break it. Now, if you want to see a classic, you know, if you have my book, The Out of Timing the Trade, you know that when right before you at, at swing points, folks, swing points where the market talks, walks, and squawks. And if you are pushing with volume before a swing, whether it's a high or low, your probability goes higher that you're going to bust that swing point. Now, what we have been doing is this. We've been building cars for quite a while on this 10-year to blow away this 126 area. We came and missed it by one tick today with expanded volume. This thing is going to blow it out of the water. This is a large ABC up. You got 128 on it. 30 year. What do you have with the 30 year? 30 year uh, is up uh, 26 ticks today. You got 332,000 contracts. That's already a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Dollar index. We take a look at the dollar. What we have with the dollar out here. That's trading 27,000 contracts. That, I suspect, is going to build some cars to get into the 84, 85, 50 mark. Gold. What do we have with gold? Gold continues to move. We did uh, GCZ. Gold contract out here today, up 680. You're at uh, 111,000 contracts. We're at 1314. That is going to make that run for... 1347. I expect what you're going to actually see there is that it's going to make the run all the way up to that uh, 1391. And the, and, the, and, the, and the aspect of the uh, gold metal market, folks, I suspect this is going to be the whole, you know, political event versus a monetary event. This is going to be a, it's not, it's not a cool thing. That's the bottom line. Oil. Let's go over to the oil market. CLU FOA. We take a look at oil. Oil out here. Oil is trading at a price point of uh, 97.52. That we have volume right now. Oh, this is already an ABC down. Oh, check this out. This is a nice ABC down. The A point is 10. The A point on oil is 106.60. The B is 98.60. That's a sweet one. You get eight bucks. The C point is uh, 103. So it's 95 bucks. We've hit 96.55. 95 bucks is the number where this A to B equals C to D. We passed the B point. We did it with volume. Some of the high, some of the uh, high volume stocks out here. You get BAC flat. Uh, Sprint is down three. You get uh, let's see. Walgreens is up a dollar forty five. That's a dead cat. Micron Tech's off a dollar. We have uh, Time Water is down uh, two oh four. They've been banging that baby around since yesterday. Since the Murdoch doesn't want to take it over. Um, some of the Dow stocks. You get 
Exxon Mobil off a buck. We have Disney off 120. You got the Oxy off 151. Uh, big Blue is off 218. Walmart's down 37. No big deal. Let's go over to Rig. Transocean came out with the numbers last night. That was pushing into the lows. Uh, Transocean uh, couldn't handle higher price out here today. That's after some decent numbers too, by the way. Uh, the numbers that come out that well, they were they were big numbers. Com you know, was they made uh, 163 versus 111. So what you had out here today is that rig opened at 39, 39. It's at 38.06. Huge volume. The volume. You know, Monday, let's see, what day is today? Thursday. Tuesday, we did 11.7 million shares. We're already 11.2 million shares. This thing is blowing away its last swing point, and it's a lot lower it can go. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You can expect, oh, here it comes, man. You can expect some big selling, folks. You can expect selling, wide price spread, big volume, all of the above. See ya. Don't want to be ya. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the, uh, the Dow down 100 right now. NASDAQ off 28. Uh, S&Ps are off 1350 and, and man, they're hitting this NDX too, man. The NDX actually had been positive. It's down uh, 23 bucks right now. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. And don't forget, folks, every Tuesday, Thursday, 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Andy has an outstanding show right here, the Technometo Commodity Report, all about commodities. He also has a great newsletter. You can test drive that newsletter by coming over to our website at tfnn.com. You'll go to newsletters trading newsletters and you'll see the technical commodity report now if you test drive this news report this newsletter right now folks you will get to go to andy's subscriber event only um he's having a webinar that's going to be next wednesday from five to six eastern standard time and that webinar is going to be silver the current setup and equities etfs and futures so if you'd like to go to the webinar come over to our website at tfnn you can hit the subscriber event only. You can sign up right there. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. You having a good day? I'm doing good. I'm that, doing good. That's that's a beautiful thing. Well, we Andy, took some profits in the uh, Technomental Commodity Report today. We had the uh, we were short the XLE, and we uh, there were their puts that expire next week, so we we took them off today. That was smart, and that was over 100 yeah. percent, folks. It was a big money. Yeah, nice. Yeah. nice. I mean, it depends where people got out. It was between 100 and 200 percent. Oh my God! So it was good. It was, <laughs> that a, good, is it good. was a good trade. That's good a beautiful. That's a beautiful thing, no doubt. And, and we have the webinar next week on silver, and I think it's very timely because gold is starting to move, but silver isn't doing much. You know, isn't that funny? You know, you know it's so crazy too. You know, is that you know silver really looked a lot stronger. You know. And then it just is not moving, you know. It's, it's what, just not moving. It's pegged to this $20 level. It, you know, it's cool, though. I like how the silver equities are acting. So this is like the same thing would happen with gold, folks, okay, is that the, the physical metals just kind of weren't holding price, but the equities wouldn't give up price, you know. So that type of divergence, uh, I like. The reason I like it is that you can look at a lot more gold stocks and, you know, I had more faith that, okay, gold's going to move because of that. And you can do the same thing with silver and say, okay, you know, silver is no doubt more volatile than gold. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, I, I personally can't see one of them moving and not the other one. Do you know what I mean? I agree. And I, I kind of hope that between now and Wednesday when I have the webinar, we kind of stay around these levels because I think it's, you know, it's setting up very interesting. So... Yeah, we shall see. I I think that they should get over and get your newsletter right now because <laughs> because no I, I'm serious and what I'm serious about Andy is this I you know listen it'd be great if if, if the market waited for the webinar uh, oh no, I know no I know but the, I know. But the I mean, way that the bonds setting the way, up very nicely here. well the way that the bonds are trading right now man I'm telling you folks these bonds are going to the moon and they're going to the moon because the S and P is going south and people just want to be able to get their money back. That's, <laughs> That's exactly right. And listen, and what Draghi said this morning, keeping uh, European interest rates very low, doesn't hurt. It's not only doesn't hurt, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that Europe is getting squeezed every different way. And you know what? It was slow before, but it's going to be a lot slower, man. I mean, they, they, yeah. they're, they're caught in a box, they, you know, and they're stuck in it, man. So Absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the other commodities. Here. Yeah. Natural gas, uh, report came out this morning, 82 billion injection. Uh, market was expecting 84. Okay. So a little bit less, but uh, natural gas uh, pulling back here. 
It looks like it was going to wanted to put up a key reversal day today, but it didn't just by a couple of ticks. But we're down and back at around uh, 388. Maybe we have to, uh, you know, we've been up the last couple of days. Maybe we have to just uh, um, alleviate this overbought condition on the daily chart. So we'll keep our eyes on natural gas. Now, now, Very check interesting. You know, oil now, check has this. been yeah, really we, under a lot of pressure. Can we stay with natural gas for a second? Sure, sure. See, this is, I love this move. This is like, what happens here, folks, this is really deviant. You got to a higher high today and it gave it up on price, but the volume is monster. Okay, so in my camp, it's like, okay, man, you're going right back up to that high. So it's, it wouldn't be a buy just yet. What you let it do is that, see that day when we came off that low, Andy, of the 31st? Yep. The high of the 31st is 3.890. The low of that is 3.76. All of that has to happen. Oh, man, if it came back into 3.76, light of volume, rejected it. Oh, you're off to the races, man, because... These are so deviant when they go to higher highs and have the volume give it up in price it, because the risk reward there is, is minimal. You know, you get in at right. 376, you put your stop under 365, and you're going, right. you're not just going for the 390, folks, okay? When you get a move like that, you'd actually be going for the 4.10, which. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's kind of my target there. Sweet. Hey, so, so um, let's talk a oil. little oil, because oil's interesting. You know, oil market's been coming down dramatically. Yeah. But I'm going to put up a chart for you. I want you to see this chart. Uh, let's see. Uh, heating oil. Okay. Heating oil, exploding higher. Exploding yeah. higher. Uh, we got down to about, uh, let's see, we got down to a low of about 283. We're up to 290. Now, heating oil is the same as diesel, right? Is that how that works? Right, same thing. Okay, same thing. okay, Good right. proxy. And then look at the move in gasoline today. I mean, with oil doing not much, gasoline price is up uh, huge today, up uh, almost three and a half three cents. Three and a half cents, yeah, right. So what does that tell us? The crack spreads are doing very well. We're back up. We're near $25 on the heating oil crack. We're at 19 on the uh, gasoline crack. Uh, the seasonality favors heating oil now. So that means this is good news for some of the refiners. Part hey, of the reason that I took uh, profits on the XLE uh, uh, short. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that uh, we're talking about heating oil season? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you got it. You got You always got to stay in commodities. You always got to stay one step ahead of the next season. Yeah. Hey, let's talk cattle, man, and hogs. Moo. Moo. You know what? Cattle. All I can say about cattle is, hey, limit down today. Hogs down two cents. Yeah. Uh, we're at 153 on the October cattle. Let me put a chart up there. All I could say is every single solitary dip in the cattle market in 2014 has been a raging buy. Yeah. So we have to be careful. Hey, could it pull back to 148? Absolutely. But you know what? Low herds, light weights, the fact that the U.S. is going to become an importer of beef in 2015. You know, the bull is still in this market and the fundamentals. So, you know, let's see where it settles down. But like I said, I can't get too bearish, Tom. Every single solitary dip in this market this year has been a buy. No reason to think differently. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I, I, you know, I was watching this this morning. I didn't trade it, and I, I wish I did, because right before it went limit down, I could see the volume coming in pretty heavily, man. Yeah, you know? oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, we, we have to see. I, you know, I, I have to look at what's going on in the fundamentals there, and that's kind of oh, yeah. drives me. The, bo both have to, have to compare. Right now it's hands off the market for me. Yeah, and, well, the, you know, you were talking about cocoa yesterday, man. I mean, it looks like uh, this cocoa market uh, just won't stop. And I, I can well, picture cocoa, it. cocoa is a beautiful, if you look at the chart, Yeah. if you look at the chart, it is a beautiful long-term demand-based rally. Right. No, I can beautiful. see that. You know, I think we're going to eventually go after the $3,800 uh, high from 2011. But, uh, you know, we might get a price spike. If we get a supply problem in Coco, this thing will... No, nah, I, I can see that happening, too. Yeah, Folks, yeah. just stay right there because uh, our man, Mr. Andy Hicks, is going to be coming up tonight, 5 to 6. Go over to our website at CFNN. You can sign up for his newsletter right now. They get you right into that workshop absolutely free. Andy, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tonight. Have a great one, Tom. Okay, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow is down 94. Now it's like off 28. S&Ps are off 12 and a half.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone silent. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have uh, Dow Industrials right now down 100. NASDAQ is off 28. S&Ps are off uh, 13 and a half. Bonds continue to go topside, folks. Uh, we are right at the highs. Uh, the 10-year is up 15 ticks at 125.31. It's 126. That is uh, the, the high. Okay, that's two ticks away because 125.32. Uh, the next tick there would be uh, the 126 area. We are up there with volume, too. I expect what you're going to see is that you're going to see that baby uh, go topside tomorrow uh, over the B point. That's going to bring it up to 128. The 30 year right now is at uh, up 24 ticks, trading at 139.04. If you look at the yield on the 10 year, the yield right now is 2.413. Uh, what you'll see out here tomorrow, it's going to drop under that uh, 2.4. Pretty, pretty amazing for a 10 year. Now, if you. Uh, are in the CD market, folks. Um, you know that we have Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund. And inside that fund, we have a first mortgage program. Uh, the way this first mortgage program works is this, is that we are offering, it's a 5% four-year program. And what happens is this, just to give you an idea how, how it works. It's paid monthly, the mortgage is 70% of the appraised value of the property. Uh, as you're over at TFNN, you go on the right-hand side, you'll see Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund. You can hit that banner. Uh, you come to the first page. When you come to the first page, you'll see uh, why I think you should invest in them if, in fact, you don't need money for four years. That's how this works, folks, okay? Uh, just to give you an idea of how it would work, I'll, well, I, yeah, factually, I'll give it to you. Uh, bottom line is that when you hit the first mortgage portfolio, what you're going to see is you're going to see some of the houses that we own. These are all brand new, done over, leased out, all of the above. You'll see some of them are already claimed. It would be seventy-five thousand. That's three fifteen a month in on income. There's another property that is appraised at one hundred and fifty-five thousand. The mortgage would be one hundred eight thousand five hundred. That'd be four hundred fifty-two dollars and eight cents a month. There's another one at one hundred forty thousand appraisal. The mortgage would be ninety-eight thousand. That'd be four hundred eight dollars a month. The next one is one hundred three thousand appraisal. No, yeah, 103,000 appraisal. The mortgage would be 72,000. That's 300 dollars a month. And the next one is 163,000 appraisal. 114,000 would be the mortgage, which is 475 a month. So if you have money in CDs and you want a nice, secured first mortgage in your name without any expenses, the, the fund pays all the expenses. Uh, check it out. You can give us an email. Give us a call. Um, nice program for looking if you're looking for monthly income and you don't need the money for four years. The way it's set up, folks, is this. is It's a four-year balloon mortgage. If, in fact, we sell the property the first 18 months, you still will receive your full 5% annual interest. So it's a guaranteed 5% annual interest for 18 months. And the reason I put that in there, basically, is in case you were, were taking it out of a CD and you wanted to make sure that um, the fact of the matter is that you were going to get a certain amount of income and you planned on that income. I don't expect to be selling them in 18 months, but the bottom line is that as these rates go lower, um, the, you know, the demand goes higher. Let's go to Sam in Irvine, California. Hey, Sam, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? I am having a great day. Thank you very much. Cool. I want to preface by saying that I'm so grateful to you and TFNN for you to assemble such a great people, such a team to help the small investors like myself. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, Sam. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Question is about TLT. The TLT is an ABC structure in the way up. So the TLT is the 20-year Treasury bond fund. Uh, the, the low is 101, the high is 116. This is a confirmed ABC up. Um, if you take a look at this, and, you know, bonds, folks, I, I'm going to show you something else, too. I figured something else out today. Okay, so if we take a look at this and we put this on a monthly basis, what you're going to see is we took the B point out and we took that uh, B point out in May. Let's, uh, let, me, let me put this in a weekly. Do you own this right now? Are you looking to buy it? What are we doing? I'm looking to buy it, sir. I've been following it since five, six years ago. I traded it at $75 or so sometime, but I'm afraid to go in and keep it for a swing trade. Small investor, I was wondering if there is a better instrument or this is good enough to... Um, 107. So right now, it's running to 118. That's, the, that's where it wants to go. You know, I mean, you get three points, you can put a stop under... Yeah. <laughs> See, what's going on is that I suspect what you're going to have out here tomorrow is that this thing's going to go topside. And so the risk versus the reward really isn't there right now because you, you really want a risk a dollar to make three, Sam, you know. And, you know, if it was yesterday, yeah, it would have worked because 113 and you're going from 118 to 120, you're in good shape. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So you just have to wait for another pullback, man. But you yep. might not get it. I don't think you get it. And this is why. So check this out, folks, okay? When we go over to the 10-year, I want to show you something. Because for all the folks that get the gold report, you know what I do with the GLD in correlation to when things are going down versus when they're going up, okay? And when I was looking at the 10-year today, I'm saying to myself, man, there's the demand in this is huge. Then I start realizing that, oh, my God. So check this out, folks. You know, these ETFs, you want to wrap your head around these ETFs. And the reason is they're moving markets. And if we go over to the TBT, which people love to trade. I've traded it plenty of times myself, okay? But that's the shot of the 20-year, right? Yep. What you're going to see is that I'm always looking at these net asset values, okay? And what is going on, folks, is that every single day, right, the... The net asset value is going down because the price is going down. But guess what? The amount of money going into the TBT is the eighth largest. That's the eighth largest ETF structure right now. So what is happening is that everyone keeps thinking that bonds are going to go down. Everyone keeps shotting bonds. And now this is the correlation. Is that the fund sponsor, ProShares, has to turn around and shot the bond market. And it's like, oh, my God, I just realized it. I'm saying to myself, this is amazing. Because the fact of the matter is, every time they keep going in there, guess what? It goes higher, so they they got to keep buying it back. So it's like, it's, 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 one, it's one of these really crazy deals inside the ETF structure that probably is putting more fire inside the bond market that people don't even realize. It's like, it's wild. If I uh, have to ask you about Ukrainian situation, the world event, if anything happens, uh, do you think the TLT is going to go up? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The TLT is going up. We, there's world problems. And Ukraine, you know, Putin's going to take it. That's my take on it anyway. And, you know, it's... And people are boxed in. You know what I mean? And, and what this... This is the sickest part about this whole deal, too, folks, okay? Is that... This is large corporations saying, no, no, well, let those people go because we got too much bread over here. Okay, you're going to see how this shakes out. This is really a weird shakeout, man, but he's going to, and, and he, he knows it. I think he knows it, you know what I mean? And, you know, he just said, you know, you talk about the heating coming up. He's going he's gonna to turn this gas off in about two seconds. He, it, you know, that's a, he's, tur he's turned it off when they haven't even had fights. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so I think it's a problem, period. But, th but that's not the only problem we have, you know, so. And that's not necessarily our problem. You know, it can turn into our problem. And the way that it would turn into our problem, folks, is that, and, is that there's the chest around the world, okay? You know, this, there's, a, there's fires everywhere. That's the bottom line. That's why I think bonds, well, bonds want to go higher. Market wants to go lower. Gold wants to go higher. 
but the larger deal, Sam, is that if you look at the rates across the world, you know, the rates across the world that continue to go down. You know, so it's who you want to give your money to. You know, you want to give it to Germany, they're going to pay you 1% for 10 years. That's amazing. France will pay a 1.4. We're still paying 2.4, so our rate is still high. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know, it's wild, but... Cooking, brother. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful to you, Tom. Oh, we're grateful you're out there growling and proud with us. Thank you so much. And we really are, folks. I really appreciate all you tigers and tigresses out there, because guess what? No audience, no company. Thank you so much from all of us here at TFNN. Dow Industrials right now is uh, down 84. NASDAQ's off 23. S&P's are off 11 and a half. We're going to be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.
No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com Tom O'Brien Welcome back folks we have the uh, Dow down at 75 right now Nasdaq's off 21 S&P's are off uh, 10 bucks uh, let's see what we're looking at here volume wise uh, on the NYSE we got uh, let's see what do we got 15 minutes left we're going to do probably around uh, yeah we'll do around 615 and that's light that's that is light uh, so we're going to need more volume for lower prices out here uh, the NY uh, the Nasdaq composite we are running at well, the composite tie. The composite's going to run at 1.8, 1.9. If we go over to the SPY, the SPY, and looks inside this ETF structure, uh, the SPY right now is, um, that's accelerating too, actually. That's 116 uh, million right now. Yesterday, uh, we had uh, 94 million. So that's accelerating. Let me see the NDX 100. Inside the NDX 100, she's light. She, the NDX 100 looks like it's going to jump the creek. You know, building cars here for four weeks, I mean, four days. Uh, small caps, the IWM. Now, the IWM is going to be important to keep your eye on uh, because the IWM, the next move here, is going to be going after its swing low. If we go to Germany, we take a look at the DAX. The DAX is ready to blow it away tomorrow morning, folks. The DAX is down 91 bucks today. You had volume behind the move on the way down. The low that it's going after is the March low of, let's see, we, we are at 9038. So you're already inside the bar. 8913 is the number. 141 million shares. Yesterday she did 98. I suspect she, ex uh, she expanded in volume today. So if the DAX blows this number away, get out of the way because what that is going to basically set up is this. On the DAX, it's going to set up a 89, 79, a 78 number. So 7,800. And if we bring that back and just go look where 78 is. Yeah, so 78 is back to June of 2013. That's going to give up quite a bit. In fact, um, <laughs> that would be giving up probably in two months. Yeah, two months would give back a year. That's how, well, more than a year. The, the FTSE in the UK, that came down not bad, 38 points today. That is also going after its low, and had an expansion of volume, too. Uh, the FTSE, we're at 65.97. You have the uh, 64.92 number. That's the number. You give that up, and what, what you'll see is this. As we get down to those levels in Europe, if we break those levels in Europe, and you are breaking those levels even before we open, you know, and I expect you're going to see that, folks, in the next three or four days. Our markets will gap dramatically lower because any, you don't have to be a, a technical trader to understand a break that large. The, the, the reason being is that we've gone sideways for about a year, folks, and they have too. It's a consolidation has been in a year. You break that consolidation, there's only one way to go. That's, you know, doesn't mean, you know, yeah, three or four months from now it can bounce again. But most folks understand that when you break it, yeah, at a large consolidation, you're going south, and you're going south in an extraordinary way. We take a look at some of the Dow stocks out here. And the large caps, by the way, have been the ones, they've been getting basically taken apart out here. Uh, if we go take a look at some of the uh, Dow stocks out here today, you get Oxy down 98. We get uh, Big Blue off 161. Johnson & Johnson's off 75. 
Big Mac is off uh, 14. JP Morgan's down 93. 3M. 3M is, that was one of the last ones, by the way, that was ha holding highs. And when it broke, it broke with volume. 3M came off a buck 45, buck 46 actually, buck 45, broke a consolidation that had been trading in since May with monster volume. Uh, it looks like it's setting up another ABC structure on the way down. We're at 139.29 right now. And the way that this is set up, yeah, you're inside of this. So this is set up that it wants to run to 130, 130 to 125. And if we get volume down there, 130, 125, then there's a whole different ball game. Meaning you can get a lot lower. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to break that level because that's where 3M did have strength. That's the other side of it. Where some of these other equities have the signs of strength are 20 or 30 percent lower from where they're actually trading right now. And that's why you've seen some, uh, some of these really dive and dive in an extraordinary way. Uh, we take a look at the XAU, the HUI inside the gold market. XAU out here, she's at 101. That's building cause to get up to that last swing point of, from July, which is 106. Uh, HUI, gold bugs index, same type of setup in that, in that index. We are at 241. That number is 251.76. And what you want to wrap your head around inside both of those indices is that are they going to be ABC structures on the way up? We're going to know real soon. Yeah, they're going to need an expansion of volume. Yesterday we had volume of 14 million. And to be an ABC structure on the way up, you're going to need about 20 million. That's in the HUI. And the XAU, we go over to the XAU, we take a look at the XAU. We're going to need volume. One second, there she is. We're going to need volume. Let's see, yesterday they did 20 million. Oh, this is pretty cool. So check this out. Yeah, this is interesting. So the XAU is really close. Uh, we did 20 million yesterday, and you still, yeah, no, you need 25 million. 25. Is, so they both need more volume to confirm an ABC structure on the way up. And if, in fact, we get that, what you'll see is this. The XAU and the HUI will not stop at the March 14th swing highs. They'll blow those swing highs apart. And, of course, it only makes sense that if, in fact, there's an ABC structure on the way up, that that's what it would do. Why? Because inside an ABC, folks, whether it's up or down, the A to B point are a straight line move. B to C, consolidation. Goes all over the place. Dry, wants to drive everyone crazy. C to D, straight line move. And those straight line moves, what they're all about is not letting anyone in. If markets are going south and you're going from the B to C, uh, C to D on an, on an ABC structure on the way down, it's fast, it's furious. If you're not in, your risk-reward man money management won't work. If it's an ABC structure on the way up, you see the D on the way up, same is applicable. There's very few times that you have a sideways ABC that you actually could get in. And, and we have one. We, we actually have one, and that's in the SPY. The, the SPY uh, actually has still gone sideways. And when you look at that, if we, that is a 75-point A to B uh, structure, and it never bounced so what you do have there is that your A point on this is uh, the 1991 and your B is the 1916. You know, so the, the real key is, is that uh, if you're taking that 75 points off of the 1942, you're dealing with, uh, what, an 18, 4, 1875. Uh, and you're at 1907, so you can put the stop on the other side of today. And you still um, have a risk of one and a reward of at least three. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there. We'll be coming right back. And, of course, don't forget, after me right now, today, our man, Mr. Andy Hex, is going to be coming up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044.
Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? Oh, can't really complain. First of all, I wanted to thank you for the bargain re-up on the goal report. I've been getting it for quite a while, and uh, for a couple of years there, it was like an insurance policy. I'd say, oh, i got to buy gold, and the goal report would say, oh, no, not yet. And lately, it's like a winning lottery ticket. So uh, it's working really well all around. I appreciate the feedback, Marty. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This card's by James Garner. Believe in yourself and everything you can be. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials closed down 75, NASDAQ off 20, SPs off 10, gold contract up $4.20, traded 1,312 an ounce. Silver down 4 cents at $19.97 an ounce. Platinum up 14 at 1,477 an ounce. Copper flat. At 317 a pound. Light sweet crude up 67 cents, trading at $97.59 a barrel. Bonds. Let's look at these bonds. 10 year. 10 year up 14 ticks, and we are right at the highs, folks. This is going to be amazing watching this shake out tomorrow. So if you're watching Tiger TV, what you're looking at right now is this. We did 1.2 million contracts on the 10 year today. The high of the 29th is 126. This is like a classic. We went to 125.31. 125.32, folks, is 126. Well, the next tick is. It's 32 ticks to one point in the bond market. My, my take is that we're going to take this out and it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. That gives you a 128. In that context, just so you see where this 10 years is running right now, that's going to put the 10-year under 2.4 tomorrow. We're at 2.415 right now. Now, the 30-year had already taken out its B point, took it out with volume, followed through out here again today, 347,000 contracts. Bonds are going higher. Money is getting cheaper. And uh, that is across the world, too, by the way. Dollar index. Dollar index up 83 ticks out here today at 81.59. What you have with the dollar, folks, dollar wants to trade up to this 84.50 market. Big, big move. And if we get volume and it builds some cars at that 84.50 move, you're going to see an $89. It'll take a while, but that's where this thing is shaking out right now. Euro. Euro is down 20 at 133.63. What you had out here today, this morning, uh, Draghi coming out, bottom line, saying, hey, listen, things are not great. We're going to keep these rates low for a while. I suspect that the, the euro, in the context of the euro, this is only just starting. If we take the euro, we put this on a much longer basis. The last bounce in the euro, we were in, in July of 2012, we were at 120. We bounced, and it took quite a while, almost two years, we bounced all the way up to 139. Now we're at 133. The, that bounce itself, folks, was only a 50% bounce. That sets up that you can come all the way back down to the bottom of the consolidation that the euro has been trading in, which gets you a 120. And if we get a 120 euro, we're going to get $189. That's how that whole thing is set up. Gold. What do we have with gold? Okay, so gold, even with the dollar moving higher, it continues to move higher. And I suspect that's a, that's a political deal, not a monetary deal at this point. You have strength in the move, though. Up four bucks today. You're at thirteen twelve. The swing point, the higher swing point, is thirteen forty seven. That's the swing point from July. I expect not only that we're going to get there, but I expect that what you're going to do is you're going to run up to the March highs, which is thirteen ninety one. Now coming into Friday is always dicey in the gold market. What I do expect you're going to see out here tomorrow, though, you're going to see expansion with wide price spread, accelerated volume, and it really has to do with politics across the world over the weekend. That's it's going to be that's kind of how this is set up. And we haven't had a move by the way in gold because of politics for like 20 years. You know, that's it's it's a different type of move. 
And if you happen to be in the metal market, that type of move is fast, it's furious, but what you want to make sure you do, if you're even in the equities, when they're finishing ABC structures on the way up, sell them. Because they move fast on the way up and just as fast on the way back, folks, if, if it's political versus a monetary deal. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go over and we take a look at uh, a few of these numbers uh, that have just come out. We start with uh, Solar City. Solar City closed at 7563. Right now, that is trading at uh, 75. And let's see what they say number wise. Okay, so they, the revenue is 61.3 million. That was up 62%. They they lost 52 cents a share. Bottom line, they lost, but uh, it's not hurting the stock. This is, this is an equity that I believe has come down substantially anyway. Yeah, this is an equity that had been at 82, 88, rather, get down to 49 and get a nice bounce up here at uh, 76. Uh, UBNT. This is uh, Ubiquitous Networks. Uh, that closed at $39.32. This is a broad uh, portfolio of wireless networking products. That is trading right now at 41. That's up two bucks. Numbers go like this. The estimate was 51 cents. They made 56. The revenue estimate was 100, 151 million. They made 156 million. And that's also just going to be a dead cap bounce. Pretty wild. Uh, same. It's interesting. Both of those had their highs up in March. They, uh, in this particular case, we went from $56 down to 30 You get a counter trend bounce to 47 Don't touch this stock. This stock here, folks, has a high volume low that is screaming out there. And that high volume low is at $30. And I expect you will see that uh, baby get hit. Some of the uh, inside the Dow industrials out here. Inside the Dow today. Uh, some of the weakness, you had United Technologies was down at 224, Coca-Cola was off 57, Disney was off 108, and you had Marbell off 41. Um, inside the NASDAQ, we take a look at the composite first. Uh, inside the composite, what we had, there she is. Uh, actually, let's look at the NDX 100 because the composite has way too many stocks in it. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the, you had, uh, let's see, NXP Semiconductor, that was taking some juice out of it. That was down 244. You had Discovery Channel uh, Communication, that was down 143. Micron Technologies was off a dollar, and Mylan Pharmaceutical was off a dollar 42. Putting strength into the NASDAQ composite, even though it was down, you had uh, 20th Century Fox, that was up a dollar 64. Netflix was up $19, so I want to go over and look at that one. Uh, uh, Cognizant Technologies was up 72. Now, that was a dead cat bounce. That got smoked yesterday. Uh, Tesla was up 346. Keep an eye on Tesla too. Tesla has that confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And it's probably, no, it's not done yet. It, it actually wants to test that, uh, we'll see how we end up testing that 259 area. That, that 259 area wants to get tested up there. If we take a look at the NDX 100 volume characteristic wise, that looks like it's setting up to jump the creek. Creek's been set up here. We're at 9422. You know, and it's held up really well. The NASDAQ NDX 100, no doubt, has held up. You know, the high in the, in the NDX is on 97. It's still only at 94. Uh, Volume-wise, though, it looks like it's building cars to get into the lower range. The lower range in the NDX 100 would have to come down to $91.33. Now, the differential inside, if we go to the SPY and we take a look at the, the SPY for a second, what you're right at the lower range. The lower range starts at 188.96. We're at three points above it right now at 191. The small caps, of course, are inside the lower range. They're going after the <clears throat> February and March lows. If we let, take a look at the diamonds, the ETS structure inside the diamonds, they are also inside the lower range. And the diamonds are setting up. We're at 163.55 now. And if you put that on a weekly basis, go back about three years, what you're going to see is that the diamonds want to get down to 153, 157 to 153, and if we get volume there, 
then you're going to see something that uh, we haven't seen in a while. And what that would be is that a, you'd have a spike all the way down to the 146 area. You know, uh, what is streaming out here, uh, however, the larger deal, and this is pretty intense, folks, is Dow 11,200. And that would be a shocker. There's no doubt. But bottom line, uh, it's out there. And right now we're at 16,368. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Just call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. The world in the markets, Dow down 75, NASDAQ off 20, S&P's off 10 and a half. We're going to be right back. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to his subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 50 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Tom? Take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go over to CBS. We take a look at CBS. CBS closed at uh, fifty six dollars and ninety cents. That is trading at uh, fifty six ten. Numbers to go like this on CBS. They're going to buy more stock. Like, well, we're going to buy second die stick this one. Check this out. Okay. So the estimate was seventy two cents. They made seventy eight cents. That is the the revenue estimate was three point. Two three billion, they took in three point one nine billion. Okay, so they, they they basically took in less money. Their buyback, they're going to boost their buyback program. Increase buyback. Oh my God, they're going to increase the buyback to six billion dollars. Uh, now, if we go take a look at CBS, what you're going to see is the equity is trading fifty six. March, it was at sixty seven. Makes the run down at 55, does a counter trend bounce up to 60, 65, and it's right back down, pounding this low. Yeah, this is going to be a big problem for CBS. Okay, so I put this on a monthly for a second. Oh, man. This is just like the market. It just went parabolic. So check this out, folks. CBS, without a pullback, went from the last pullback we had in 2011. It went from a price point of $17 straight to $68. <laughs> this is going back to $27. This is going to be a mind blow. I can't wait to see how this shakes out. This is going to be strange because that is a heck of a pullback also. But what you're going to see, see, there's many equities like this, meaning that they went, you couldn't, this wouldn't be saying parabolic because it's still like a 45 degree angle on the way up, which is a decent angle. It's not a 60 degree angle on the way up. Uh, but it certainly went up month after month after month without anyone in the store. You, you stayed at the highs, and you stayed at these highs for seven months. And that, when you're staying at a high for seven months there, number one, that's when everyone's getting out, pushing, 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 letting it go. Then volume comes out of the stock, and in this case, huge volume come out of the stock. Like You can make the case that it's volume off the high, actually. We're from 65 to 56. The volume was a half billion shares after it made a high with 114 million shares. So you can see that, okay, someone got out, not only got out, but got out in an extraordinary way. And downtown, you know, there's basically nothing stopping this thing because it went up so dramatically. So we'll see how this, uh, this whole thing shakes out. Uh, one of the targets is saying someone must have been in uh, CVS. Let's go take a look at CVS for a second. So CVS... Uh, it was down 92 cents out here today, and if we bring CVS back, we put this back three years. Yeah, this is not a bad-looking stock, though. Let's let's put this back 10 years, actually, on a monthly. Oh, yeah, that's where this gets into. Yeah, see, if, if you turn around and put these back on monthlies, man, they're a mess. They're CVS, the same thing. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, PER for one of our tigers out here. This is uh, Sandridge uh, Permian Trust, uh, Delaware. Trust that, let's see, whoops, I figure this is going to be the Permian Basin probably, right? Let's see, it doesn't say where they're doing business, but because of the way that uh, it's set up. It's a statutory trust, the trust holds subsidiaries whose principal fo focus are the exploration and production of gas gathering and CO2 facilities in oil recovery. Let's see what they make. Okay, so it's a new IPO. It looks like a new company, actually. Right now, they're taking in $36 million per quarter. This came down nasty today with volume, so don't touch it. We put this on. Yeah, don't touch this stock. This, is, this, this stock, man, oh, man. Okay, so this stock's been in a consolidation. This is, what, this is a stock that I suspect. Let me look at this for a second. So it's $12.49. This is going to be another one, folks that the market pushed out, yeah, it did. Okay, so this went public uh, August of 2011 at $18. This is another one that got pushed out, another one that's gonna get absolutely killed. What is it? Let me just see if the dividend, what is they paying? Yeah, okay. This is a huge heads up, folks. This stock 
is saying it pays a 20% dividend. No one pays a 20% dividend and doesn't stop paying the dividend, folks. It just doesn't happen, you know. So what you have here, I put this on a two-year weekly. You have a very large ABC structure on the way down. We're 1229. It's going to go after the B point, which is 1157. And well, I guess it's, that's only a four point ABC down. Well, that'll still get it down to the $9 level. And, you know, bottom line is that whatever they're doing out here, um, they're going to do less of it, and the stock uh, is going south. We go take a look at Walmart. Let's look at Walmart because we had with Walmart. Those numbers were at $73.95, and then Walmart couldn't handle higher price today. And Walmart is teetering also, folks, uh, to, to basically break this lot consolidation that it's been trading in since March of 2013. You know, if it breaks it, then you get to look out of the way. Why? And that's the whole market. Uh, because of the fact that Walmart was in a 12-year consolidation, it broke out of it broke out with lighter volume, has stayed out of it, but has come down to the level that it wants to break inside the lower range. You know, Walmart breaks inside the lower range, you know, you're going to know that it's going to go a lot lower. There's a lot of different equities that are out here that are telling the story that lower prices are coming at us. You know, whether you take United Technologies, you can take United Technologies going after the February 5th lows, Boeing going after the February 5th lows. 3M broke down. Let's go take a look at GE. GE couldn't handle higher price today. So watch this. It was up six pennies, but guess what? Volume died. GE is also building cars to get into this lower price. And we'll see whether it can get in the lower range. The lower range for, for GE would have to come down a couple points. We're at 25.50. It would have to get inside 23.90 in order to get to lower price. We have Friday in the summer. Now, what, what did happen last Friday is that we got volume in the marketplace. Today, what you had is that you went south, but you were getting lighter volume. And inside the NYSE, what we had out here is that we... Inside the NYSE, it's 670 million, which is volume, but when you're going lower like this, you are an expansion. And the NASDAQ had 1.8. Uh, we need more volume for that to, to sustain lower price. Uh, we'll see whether we get it tomorrow. The way that the setup is for tomorrow, folks, is that lower price still wants to go. What, if you were around intraday, what you did see out here is that this is the fourth day in a row that the market bounced to higher price, couldn't hold higher price, and sold off very quickly. If we bring up the E-mini S&P and you want to see just how this is just corresponded to price and volume, it's absolutely incredible. The bounce out here today. So first off, the, the first downdraft had 67,000 contracts in the small in the E mini. That was at 12:30. Then what do you do? You bounce to 26,000. The 26,000 contracts were going against 71,000. See ya. Don't want to be a what it what it has done is that it broke the B point, broke it with monster volume. You know, we get a major breakdown happening in the marketplace and. A lot lower prices are coming at us. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TF and it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary perspective Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We had uh, Micron Technologies was down uh, a buck. You had Sun Edison up two dollars and twenty six cents. Walgreens was up a dollar sixty six. That's after getting smoked yesterday. We had Intel uh, down sixteen. Groupon was off twenty one. Twentieth uh, Century uh, Fox was up a dollar sixty one. Um, we take a look at the XAU, the HUI. Uh, both of those folks uh, looking to go into their B point. We'll see whether we uh, get that action tomorrow. Uh, they are both going to need more volume in order to get an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, but uh, they're setting up really well right now. Let's go to our man, Dave in Clearwater. Dave, what's going on, brother? 
Hey, Tom, how we doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day? Yeah, having a good day. I'm having a good month, man. Are you that, kidding me? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> about time we get some movement in it this is morning. it is no doubt about time so let it never be said that uh, up on vapor or as far as that goes down on vapor is going to hold for any length of time i'm i'm telling you um if you recall maybe you do maybe you don't because i don't know how many people you talk to and me with I, I said about two years ago when we were talking and we were, we were kind of shaking our heads like how can this market keep floating up on this vapor and i yeah statement at the time, I said, at the time, I'm, I'm of the opinion that we're not going to see sustained correction until the Fed takes the punch bowl away and, you know, and, and, and rates at some point start to perceive that they're going to start moving up and they're going to stop plowing money into the market, you know, and I, and I think that's what's driving the vapor. And I think what we're seeing now is, again, I've always I've been on an impression that the market, say, uh, supposedly look into the future two to three quarters out. And I think it's finally starting to sink in that the Fed's going to take the punch bowl away sometime in 2015. And uh, I think that's why I think we're starting to see a sustained move. You know, um, it's possible. I mean, you know, my take, well, you know what my take is. My take that uh, the sustained move is, is, is happening. Um, yeah, now, that's and, and, it's happening and, now. Right. And with a different, you know, there's a couple of differences. This, this move, folks, is like the move in 2011. And that was a fast move. Um, and it turned around just as fast. 2011, you know, the S&P went from 1364, 1394 to, you know, 1,074. They went down 300, 300 points in a, in a heartbeat. The, yep. and, and what you had then, as we do now, is that there's a lot of stocks that actually have fell apart before the S&P. Because the S&P still really hasn't fallen apart, folks. You're still at 1,900, you know. But there's a lot of equities that have. And I'm sure that, you know, folks that got their statements at the for the, oh, they, well, actually, they'll be getting the statements right now. i uh, probably going to be in shock saying, hey, hold it. The market's at highs. Why didn't I make money and why, in fact, did I lose? And, right. you know, it would be because the, the S&P in general is at those highs, but there's a lot of equities that absolutely have got killed. But uh, when I say kill, folks, I'm talking about down, you know, 15, 20 percent very quickly. So. Right, right, right. Well, I got, I got a question for him because I um I covered my uh, my short position today. I'm thinking that it's entirely possible, Tom, because I've been kind of tracking this on an intraday standpoint, right? Looking at the two-hour bars. Yes. And I'm thinking that it's possible we're at a B point here because um, we're, 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 we moved lower, you know, yesterday and the day before that. Today we did it on wider volume. Another indicator I'm looking at that I picked up from C. Rose is the uh, relative strength indicator. Now, from an intraday standpoint, we're making lower lows on, on, on less strength. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of looking at it, and we're looking at the two-hour bars. Uh, I'm timing my two hours on the ES mini, let's say, from the, uh, you know, the, the 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. yesterday. You know, we had, a, we had a decent move intraday. It didn't hold, obviously. We had a pretty strong move, 607,000 contracts. Uh, we came into it today on the downside on the 11 to 1 a.m. when we saw, you know, pretty decent sustained move down. Yes. On around 509, and at the moment, at any rate, we're closing out the, in the trading day with uh, with a doji um, on it. And I, I don't know, Tom, I'm thinking this this might possibly be the B point here of, an, of a large ABCD down. What are, what's your take? I think the B point was uh, 1910, and you know we're going to 1875, like right now. Okay. You so you know? think we're going to go lower before we see it bounce out? Yeah. Andy, where yeah. I'm going, I'm going with that. It really has to do with the market just can't hold price, um, and the surprises look to me like they're going to be on the downside. And um, a lot of this, you know, Dave has to do with the world's a mess. I mean, I, right. I think people right. are out of their mind, you know, with money in the market turning around and thinking they have no risk. The risk, the risk, the risk, folks, and I'm not talking about markets at highs with no volume. I'm talking about political risk across the world. If you think that, that everything is blowing up across the world and we're going to sit here and drink our six packs and kick back in bed and everything's going to be cool, you better go basically walk out of the closet, get your head over you know, get those covers off your head, folks, because that's not going to happen, you know? So. Yeah, yeah, no, not with uh, Vladimir Putin massing forces on the Ukrainian yeah, well, border, the, Iraq uh, falling apart. Exactly, exactly, and it's happening in a lot of places, man. So there's going to be a rearrangement here, and that rearrangement is going to, if you're a fundamentalist, that rearrangement is going to have the large multinational companies make less money, 
that rearrangement is going to have a whole different direction as to where we're traveling. I mean, the next thing that's going to happen in Russia, folks, is that, you know, Putin's going to basically say, hey, there's going to be a no-fly zone here, man. I mean, this, this whole, you know, chess game is on. That's, you know, and what, as soon as they say there's a no-fly zone, what, ha what happens immediately, just so you understand, from the United States to Asia, is that that's going to affect, it's not a huge amount of flights, folks, but it's enough flights. I've flown there enough times that I know most of the time you're flying over Siberia. You're flying, when, when you're going to, I used to fly to Alaska a lot going there, do you know what I mean? And the bottom line is that it's going to make a difference, you know. They, they might be small differences, but I think trade-wise it's going to be big differences, you know. And never mind, I don't even know what UPS and... FedEx does, do you know what I'm saying? But right, right, those right. those things are going to affect everything, you know. They're, they're trying to hold it at bay. I can see that. They're trying to hold it at bay. But you're not going to hold Putin at bay, man. <laughs> I mean, he's a stone-cold killer. I mean, so he's, you know. Exactly. Have you ever met a Nick KGB agent who wasn't? <laughs> no, totally. I mean, it's, you know what cracks me up about the whole thing? It's like, like things don't change like that. Do you know what I mean? It's no. like, you know, and just in the context of, what he's already done, meaning that, you know, the president for eight years puts this other guy in, comes back in. The next, when I look at it, just on a common sense approach, the next thing, his next play is he's going to be king. You know, because yeah. what's he going to do in the next one? Is he going to be able to get away with it? No. Most times, folks, what dictators do is that they make sure that everything, there's enough trouble brewing so that they can take more control. You know, because power you know, gets more power, so. Oh, absolutely, and it's, it's always born out of chaos. Uh, and, uh, exactly, exactly, man. Do you know what I mean? And, and, the, and <laughs> you're, the, the unfortunate part, Europe has no guts. They're, they're basically wimps. There's no, yeah. they're, they're going to get rolled over, man. I mean, you know, well, for what, the third time, you know? So. And, the, and the thing is, Tom, even if they did, they're, the, the military infrastructure um, is, is not there, even if they had the will. Like, for prime yeah. example, I was reading the Wall Street Journal the other day, Great Britain only has 150 main battle tanks. That's it. 150. There are more main battle tanks in the National Guard of Texas than there are That's in the amazing. whole British Army. Man. That's sad. And you know, and, and 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 Germany doesn't have the will to use their military either. So, yeah, it's it's it's. I mean, I don't want to turn into a political discourse, but yeah. No, it, no. It, uh, well, it, you know, it, listen, man. That there's there's no, Siemens. Okay. Siemens has made it very clear. Siemens, folks, is one of the largest infrastructure builders in the world. They made it very clear when, you know, we, Putin went to Ukraine that they could care less. They turned around and basically having champagne with Putin, you know, three days later because it is because of money, folks. The amount of money that's being spent over there in the oil and, and, natu and natural gas is huge. So, I mean, that's what's going on. It's it's it's, it's a whole. Yep. But in a lot anyway, a larger aspect. I think we. We got some trouble here, man. And, you know, hopefully it just is political trouble and monetary trouble and not uh, anything larger than that. So, yeah, no, I hear you, man. So, I the real key, you. so tomorrow, Dave, I mean, you know, you know, it, tomorrow, if we get volume again on a Friday, so last Friday was very unusual, folks, that you had volume on a Monday or Friday in the summer. If we get volume again tomorrow, folks, I'm telling you, the next six weeks are going to be vicious. This is going to be like a a 1998 downdraft that you're going to think it's never over. I remember going into a, a, a uh, we were having a drink after uh, the market in 98, and, and the downdraft was almost over. And I remember at that point, I, a couple of buddies of mine that were in the accounting business, they said, I'm getting out of the market. And they've never sold a stock in their life. And I look at them and they said, no, 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 don't sell that stock. Do you know what I mean? They said, oh, it's going it, to, it, and, and, and what had happened there, folks, is that it started out like a razor blade, and then it accelerated, and it just seemed like it was never going to get over because it was every single day, you know. So we'll see where it shakes out. But, uh, you know, and it, and it has to do with a lot of these things we're talking about, but a lot of it has to do also with the time of the year that we're at, folks, okay? There's a lot of money been made. They'll just start pulling the plugs, and I want my money in right now, and they should. Absolutely. You know? They should. Exactly. Have a great Absolutely. one, man. Have a safe one. You stay right there, Thanks, folks. To come right back. Dow finished down 75. Nasdaq off 20. S&P's off 10 and a half. Gold up 490. We're going to be right back. Andy has.
Tech's powerful weekly newsletter, the Technamental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month-long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
Join Andy Hecht as he teaches you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Don't forget, folks, at TFNN, we do 10 hours every trading day of live programming. You can get all that programming right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. That gets you all the audio. If you'd like to get the Tiger TV, right on your cell phone, just go tfnn.com. On the right-hand side, you're going to see the TV right there. Hit that TV. You get the audio as well as the video. Now, as you're over at TFNN, what you're going to see right in the very front page there, it's a subscriber-only webinar by a man, Mr. Andy Hecht. Andy's coming up next uh, every Tuesday, every Thursday, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. He does an outstanding show, so you stay right there after I'm off. Uh, but if we go back to uh, what Andy's going to be doing, this is what he's going to be doing. He is doing a webinar. That webinar is going to be next Wednesday. It's going to be from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. It's going to be all about silver, the current setup in the equity market, the ETF market, and the future market. Uh, you can go to that webinar if you are a subscriber. And the way you be a subscriber, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You can test drive his newsletter right here, right now, 30 days, absolutely free. So you receive it for one month free. You get into the webinar next week, bottom line. Great setup. Andy's an outstanding educator, outstanding trader. If you want to get his experience, you want to get into that webinar, check it out right on the front page of TFNN.com. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, the metals. You know, in fact, uh, you know, Andy, uh, I'm sure he's going to talk in commodities in the next hour. When we come into a Friday, it's always dicey in the metal markets because what you do have is this, is that you have... The metal markets close in the afternoon, Friday afternoon. They don't open up until Sunday night in Australia. Then Asia trades them. Uh, as we come into this weekend, what I expect you're going to see is that I expect we're going to see higher metal prices. Why? Uh, because you have a lot of nervousness around the world. What is different in this pullback here, meaning the S&P pullback versus what's happening in the metals, is this. Uh, and most times when the s p is pulling back folks uh bottom line metals will pull back there's no such thing there's no such thing as safe in the market period what is different this time what well what is different this time is that there's enough political events going around the world that the metal is actually moving on a political event depending on how long you've been in the marketplace um that is how the metal actually used to move all the time and when those moves happen, they're fast, they're furious, but it's both ways fast and furious. So the reason I'm bringing it up in this particular case is that if you see, we're at 13.13. My take is that we're going to go after both swing points, meaning the July swing point, <coughs> swing high in gold as well as March. March is 3.95, 13.95. You see that expansion up there, what you're going to see in the gold and the silver equities, you're going to see ABC structures on the way up. Don't think that they're going to do the ABC structure and then they're never going to stop going up. They will. If you're in that market, you see those expansions next week, week and a half, that's where I figure we're going to get them. Sell right into it. Because what happens with political events like that is that you'll see it pull back. Doesn't mean we won't go back up. But when they finish the ABC structure on the way up or the way down, you do something other than that. And it's going to seem that... It won't go down because what we have done is this. If we look at this gold contract, we'll build up a lot of cars. I'm going to put a continuous contract on in gold right now. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it back for four years. And what you're going to see is that you're going to see a market that topped out in 2011. Vicious downdraft from 2011, folks, until 2014, the gold market went down. The consolidation that we've actually been in started in June of last year. So you get a year of building cars at lower prices. It's a decent consolidation. We have had three higher lows right now. What we haven't had is a higher high, the first higher high. So the first low that was established was 1179. That was in June of 2013. Your next one was 1181, which is in January of 14. Your next one was a nice one was in May of, which is 1241. 
Out of that, the only high that we've had established thus far is 1392. I suspect what we're going to see here is they're going to make a run for it. If, in fact, we can take that out with some juice, then you're going to have three higher lows, two higher highs. And what that's going to put game on is that's going to put game on for the 1487 number. The 1487 number in gold is going to be hard to take out because the 1487 number is going to be a massive supply that is left over from July of 2011 all the way over to April of 2013. So you can, that's a two-year supply that folks are stuck up at those highs. And if you remember, and you had been in that market in 2011, that was a one to two ABC structure on the way up. That was euphoria. That was all of the above. You know, we're building cars to get up into those levels, but don't get carried away uh, thinking that, uh, you know, the world's going to end because it's not, it's not going to. We have problems out here, folks. If the problems will take care of themselves, volatility is going to be in the marketplace. If you happen to trade, it's going to be a trade in this paradise for, I suspect, at least two, three, four months out here. That's, that's the way they're shaking out. The bond market, bonds are going a lot higher, folks. Uh, what I suspect we're going to see out here tomorrow is that you're going to see the 10-year take out its B point of an ABC structure in the way up. That is going to be a heads up in an extraordinary way. We are actually, we hit the 126 level, and that 126 is the B point, folks. And we're up there at 1.2 million contracts. That's going to take that baby out. It's going to blow it away. That's going to bring the price to 128. That's going to bring the yield down to 2.1, 2.2. And right now, I suspect we're going to be under 2.4 tomorrow. Right now, we're 2.411. Uh, if you're... Thinking of uh, basically refinancing, uh, get ready for it, folks, because what we're going to see is that you're going to see uh, the rates go down very quick, and uh, that is going to be the time that you want to basically uh, get out there and refinance. Uh, the 30-year right now is, is probably running about the 4, maybe even 3.9. Um, you know, you're, you're going to see some rates, and, you know, the bar, depending on where you are inside your own mortgages, just take a look at them because uh, it's going to be cheap money in an extraordinary way. And you don't have to you know, grab the last one, two tenths of one percent out of it. Um, you know, this, the structure itself has already gone from 4.5, well, like eight months ago, to four. That's a, that's, and that's a half a percent. A half percent is a, is a good number. So stay right there, folks. We've got our man, Mr. Andy Heck, coming up. He's going to be growling a problem with you uh, for the next hour. If you go over uh, tomorrow morning, check out the DAX, folks. If the DAX breaks those lows tomorrow morning and it's hunting to do it, get out of the way. Always remember, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of it. Fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. And stay right there. Andy's coming right up. Go get him, folks.